But yeah, that's all there is to Rampage. Just get as much bananas as you possibly can. I would be very surprised if you get, could get all the bananas on that stage in time. And time the pause button. Boink! And that should work nicely. As you see on this one, if, if you want to get to the special exit, you can't use the pause. I mean, the pause is useless. You can stop this one, but you can't stop the other one. I have no idea how they want you to get into that other goal. You must have, have to have, like, super perfect timing. And that's not something that uh, everyone has. Uh, yeah! So I'd recommend skipping the special exit, especially if you want to see all... Ah! Ow, that was bad. Especially if you want to see all the special stages like me. Uh, or you can just get knocked right off the right off the stage by this giant comb here. Remember, watch out for the pink lines over here because those indicate the dangerous spots. You know, where you fly off to your doom because the comb hits you at like 300 miles per hour. But the closer you get to the center of the comb, the easier it is to uh, touch those parts of the comb because they aren't going fast enough at that point to knock you off. But then you have to go back to the outer rims, and then it becomes fast again, and then you have to avoid the death. And Beehive! Beehive is a fun one. You can actually do a really awesome shortcut by just really whizzing through the center of here and bouncing across some stuff. Um, if you're really lucky, you can get to the stage in under like 10 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not willing to push that kind of luck on uh, a stage where... Oh, da, 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 da. Oh, oh. I'm not willing to push my luck uh, by going too fast, which I kind of went too fast near the end over there. But it all worked out in the end because I made it. Dynamic Maze, you remember this one? It's basic... Ah! Is basically a maze that keeps going up and down, just flops itself up and down. You just gotta wait for some stuff. Uh, it can stall you to run out of time, but as long as you're always moving straight towards the goal, I would highly doubt that you're ever gonna run out of time in this one. Because the um, things move every five seconds or so, I would say five, six, seven, whatever seconds each run. They're all timed differently, but around five seconds is the average for them, I'd say. At least I think they're all timed differently. Uh, this one, just go right up the center. Uh, yeah, just hold center, just hold forward. You shouldn't have any trouble with that then. Yeah, trick shot, trick shot, trick shot. <laughs> That's, this stage is, that triangle holds one is actually pretty hard if you don't press forward on it. I'm talking really hard. Ah, uh, I hate launchers. I hate this one so much. Arrgh. Zoom out, map, zoom out, and don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh my god, I made it on the first try. I made it on the first try. Don't, 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 don't mess up. Don't mess up. Change the camera. Aim towards the goal, and yes. Always watch that little map on the bottom right corner of the screen so you can tell where you're flopping into on blind drops like that. The map never lies. Uh, randomizer. If you manage to get yourself up on top of those other two tiers, the higher ones up there, uh, you can skip some stages, but I'm not going to be skipping stages. <laughs> So I'm taking the lower routes, but it's also really, really hard to get up there anyway because of how bumpy this floor is. You can, ah, that's why it's called the randomizer because it throws you all over the place. And there's the goal. Uh, but as you know, I love random. I love my randomness and more random stuff. So I like that stage just a little bit. It's pretty challenging to get up to those higher parts, but it's also pretty re rewarding too. That you know, it's just kind of like the thing of. The feeling of beating the odds, if you can do it. But uh, I definitely don't recommend that if you want to see all the stages in the game. Which I'd recommend that you do do. <laughs> do do. <laughs> because of uh, uh, it's very wor worthy to see the stages in this game. Because all the stages offer their own unique challenges to them. Like this one right here, titled Co Coin Slots. And I uh, made kind of a mistake when I did this level before in the story mode play playthrough. If you go down uh, and do one of these easier ones towards the edges, like the far edge, it really isn't that much luck based. But if you do one of the earlier ones, like the ones that was really flying around really like crazy like, uh, then it's really luck based because even if you fall down that hole late, you can still drop right onto the goal tape just like that. So that really isn't luck based if you uh, can manage to 
um, get yourself over to that edge. And that's pretty easy to do if you just bolt forward and move along to the left side just like I did. It's very unlikely that something will even touch you if you go along that route like I did. Uh, it's just how the level works. It's just how it's timed. And I recommend that you would follow that timing so as to... Oh no! Oh no no! So as to avoid down as death situations such as that. Uh, on that second seesaw there, as you've seen, I made a mistake. Just a little one there. Because I went down the right side of the seesaw, but I was supposed to start on the left side. See, the idea is to rock the bridge back and forth so you can um, get your... Get the bridge above the edge, and so that you can control yourself to move left and right like this. Because then I'll be able to move uphill just like I was doing before, except there's a gap on this side of the bridge. But that's absolutely no problem whatsoever. And this one you could choose any side that you want to start from. So I'm just going to take the right side just like I did the first one. Only the requirements for getting to one side to the other is a lot steeper, so to speak. Because those pillars in the center, or bars in the center, are a lot uh, wider. So you have to lean yourself more towards the edge and then you have to get back uphill and sometimes you lean it too much and oh my god no no not this one hold on a sec this stage is the bane of my existence without a doubt this is one of the early game stages that are it's just so evil if, if you remember Arthropod, it took me uh, five tries to do it on my uh, first run through of this level. Uh, which is actually a fairly good run for me. Which, oh my god, I forgot the goal was coming. Oh my god, oh my god, I get it first try! I can't believe it! I was just gonna say uh, something's good, something good about this uh, camera memory card is that I can actually save all the footage now. Rather than having to be really chintzy and deleting the footage that didn't work out so well on the camera, be other that rather than dumping the camera every couple seconds or so, um, because now by doing that, I have I am allowing myself to do like uh, in-game walkthrough blooper reels, so that'll be something to look forward to on the harder levels of the game. And these automated doors are. Uh, actually, they, they don't really squish you so much as they uh, they close really quickly, and then they push you off the edge, and they're very spiky at the tip as you can see there, so because of that little angle that they have there, uh, it'll be more than happy to push you right off the edge. <laughs> And there we go, there's the goal. As you can see, by pressing the play button, you'll have no trouble getting through the stage if you just push yourself against through the doors. Oh my god! I forgot about this stage. Heavy Sphere. This is another special one. And see how it squishes the platform down like that? Okay, now once you get once you get that going, I recommend that you go up here so you get a little bit higher than the platform. And just wait for it, right? Wait right here and drop down onto it and then go up and flop oh my god this is not gonna end well this is not gonna end well oh my god oh my god i'm getting dizzy <laughs> oh my god i actually did it <laughs> i guess you can just do it like that but yeah if that ball hits you it's pretty much over uh, it'll just knock you right off the edge and what's this one stagger stagger i know i've played this one before but the name is not striking me as something that I remember. Stagger, stagger, stagger. Oh, I remember. It's these honeycomb-like things. This is not hard at all. You just kind of go like this, and then you go like this on the triangle, and you dash for the goal. Yeah, that, that's not a very hard stage at all for being an extra stage, which I guess I can't complain since the, hard, the later ones are going to be blistering hard, as I said before. But for now, let's just enjoy the fun, and this is the UFO. You go inside it, just like this, and then you press the play button here, and then it'll flip this thing around. Just wait for it. Like this, yeah, and then we're looking for the goal. There's the goal, it's on the ceiling, and get to, oh no, it's too late, I have to go, to, I have to go around again. And uh, wait for it, and it'll flip around one more time. I think that's all the time I'll have to complete this level once it flips around. Wait, I have to press the play button again? What a ripoff. My VCR does not do that, my DVD player does not need that. That's such a ripoff. 
I am getting my refund back on this UFO, and there's the goal. Yay! It's man, it's hard to find good UFOs nowadays at UFO dealerships nationwide. But anyway, extra five, the ring bridges. I do remember this one. This one isn't hard at all. You just got gotta be patient with this one. You just gotta flop from one ring to another. The problem with this one is those little lips that are on the edges of it that kind of push you off, kind of like that. But uh, <laughs> but what you want to do is aim for the very center of the ring bridge. Not like that. <laughs> Aim for the center of the platforms, like where it's flat when you make your drop. And you shouldn't have any trouble uh, dropping from one to another, just like that. You just gotta be patient, there's plenty of time on the clock. Just like that, and take each one, one at a time. Zoom in on the map if you want to, just like I did. Oh, I did hit the edge and I survived. So I guess it is survivable if you hit the edge. Yay for me! And for you too, and whoa and this one's gonna be tight. This one's gonna be tight. Okay, we got it. Uh, or I say I got it. You'll get it later when you play the game. But anyway, that is the goal. 